This man is about to escape from jail, and the ease with which he does it is breathtaking. His name is Derek Estelle. He's 33 with an extensive rap sheet, theft, burglary, breaking and entering. This past March, he had to be tear gassed out of an empty apartment after he allegedly stole a vehicle and wrecked it in Garland County, Arkansas. And that brings us to the jail. He was here awaiting a court day on his latest charges. He's on the phone, but not necessarily talking to anybody. It's the beginning of his escape plan. There were only two deputies in the booking room at that time. And at that time, it was actually also our visitation, uh, Sunday visitation for the inmates. Estelle starts running, jumps through a window that he knew would be open, and lands in the public lobby. Watch it again. It looks like a bad cartoon. He's then followed by a guard who was caught off guard, and the chase begins. Estelle sprints as fast as he can into the parking lot, and so do the sheriff's deputy. But there's a car waiting. Estelle gets in it. The car, allegedly driven by a woman named Tamara Upshaw, who was now in serious legal trouble, too. The deputy got up to the car as it was pulling out and hit the passenger window. But they got away. This is the car. It was later located without its occupants. So how did this happen? How did a man now considered armed and dangerous get out of jail in less time than it takes to run a 50-yard dash? First, there's that phone call. Inmates are allowed to be on that phone which is in a good place for a potential escape close to that open window. Then there's this man, William Harding. He was visiting the jail, and the sheriff's office says he's partly responsible. Mr. Harding asked one of the deputies a question. At that time, they turned their back uh, to go get the information. Harding turned into a sacrificial lamb because while Estelle ended up free, Harding, who was free, is now in custody. And police think Harding and the driver of the getaway car aren't the only ones part of the plot. Seems to be well thought out, um, and evidently there were several individuals involved. But authorities aren't saying much more than that, as everyone here tries to figure out how something that's supposed to be so hard was made to look so, so easy. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Atlanta.